how to calculate the list well this is the center of gravity and the center of gravity at is at the center line we are looking at the ship in transverse direction transverse direction means in port and starboard direction if we look the ship from aft this side will be my starboard side and this side will be my port side so weight will act vertically downward through center of gravity like this and if the vessel is floating at some draft say for example let me just mark here if the vessel is floating like this at some draft the geometrical center of this underwater volume is going to be the center of buoyancy say somewhere here and a force of buoyancy will act vertically upward through that the vessel is called upright upright now let us consider the scenario where a weight let us assume this weight is shifted from this position 1 to this position 2 well the center of gravity of the ship will also shift in this direction only g2 g1 as we can see carefully this g g1 will have two component this g g1 will have two component one the horizontal component which is GGH and another one is going to be GGV this is the vertical component and this is going to be the horizontal component well if it is shifted like this this force that is the weight force will shift from G to G1 like this and this will make a list movement and because of this list movement, the vessel will start inclining in a transverse direction. So we'll have a transverse inclination. Simply because the center of gravity is shifted from G to G1. Well, this force of buoyancy will also follow like this. It initially it was here now it will continue moving moving and it will stop and directly come through uh, come below g1 so g1 and b1 they will be in the same line so b1 is the new center of buoyancy and g1 is the new center of gravity uh, now in this a new force of buoyancy will cut here this center line at m which is called a meta center and this g was here which is shifted to gg1 and this will have two components ggh and ggv so this is ggh in this direction and this is ggv well if we see carefully this ggh is going to be equal to gg1 let me just put it this way so ggh is going to be equal to gv and g1 so we know that from the formula from trig basic trigonometry this is theta and this is going to be a right angle triangle this angle is 90 degree so 10 theta is going to be gv g1 divided by gvm now since GVG1, GVG1 is equal to GGH, so we may write like this, 10 theta is equal to GGH and H divided by GVM. This is G, GGH. Well, the horizontal shift of center of gravity in this direction, G to GH, can be calculated with this formula W into D divided by capital W and this W into D it is nothing but list moment weight multiplied by distance will give me the list moment divided by W and we should also note that this GGH the horizontal shift in this one let me just mark here the horizontal shift in center of gravity will affect 
the value of list moment ggh this one this one will affect the list moment now 10 theta can be written like this list moment divided by w into gvm now this gvm we consider the gm with the vertical shift of a center of gravity okay now we should also note that ghm this horizontal one will affect the final list moment and the list angle and this vertical uh, shift will affect the list angle so we can find 10 theta like this 10 theta will be final list moment divided by wf into gmf and for sake of clarity i have taken list moment as final list moment wf as final and gmf also as a final now let us consider the list moment well the suppose uh, this is a weight w and its a distance is d the if we load this w weight here like this and its distance is d the horizontal distance I am considering so the list moment is going to be W into D and this is the center line so W into D 10 meter on starboard similarly if I discharge something from starboard like this if I discharge this weight so what happens so if I discharge this weight my list moment will be W into D 10 meter on the port side because that will create the port list if I discharge from starboard so now let us consider the scenario I shift some weight from here to here from starboard to port so let me just put it here from starboard to port so first let's, uh, let us consider I uh, pick up this weight so this is as good as I discharge the weight so this moment will be W1 uh, w into d1 similarly when i shift this way so i discharge from here and i put this weight here the list moment 2 will be w into d2 where a d1 is the distance of shift from this and d1 d2 is this distance so d1 uh, this is the center line so the total distance will be d1 plus d2 well how to find the list moment we will just add and both are port so we will add if uh, they are of the different name then we need to subtract so w into d1 plus a w into d2 so this gives me w into d1 plus d2 and d1 and d2 is nothing but w into d so we have this list moment towards port so it gives a very interesting relationship that if i shift anything from this place to this place from starboard to port this way or this way this will create a list moment uh, if i shift from starboard to port this will create a port list moment and similarly if I shift something from port to starboard maybe here maybe here maybe this side so if I shift something from port to starboard I'll get a starboard list movement